Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Twitch and Roku tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to watch Twitch on your Roku TV. So in the past, you could actually watch Twitch via the official Twitch app on your Roku TV, but they have recently removed that and actually disabled it. But luckily, I found a new method for watching Twitch on your Roku TV. So this method involves installing a hidden channel on your Roku TV. And a hidden channel is just basically a channel that's being developed. It's not available in the official Roku store. You have to manually install it to your Roku TV, but it's actually very easy. If you'd like to learn more about this channel, check the description because they have a GitHub for developing it, as well as a Discord where you can chat about it and things like that. So that's pretty cool. So if you're interested in checking that out, check the description. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with how to watch Twitch on your Roku TV. So the first thing we need to do is simply open up the browser on our computer or our phone. So you can do this on an iPhone or Android phone. Just open up the browser and then we need to go to this URL. So it'll be myroku.com slash account slash ad. And check the description. I'll have that link down there as well so you can easily go to it. So this is going to be the official Roku website. First, you'll need to log into your account. And if you're not sure which email address is associated with your Roku TV, check the description because I plan on making a tutorial on how to find that. So go ahead and log in. And then once you log in, it'll bring you to the add channel page. Now what we need to do is enter an access code into this little text box right here that will install the Twitch Reloaded channel on our Roku TV. So what we're going to type is T-W-O-K-U. And check the description, I'll have it down there. Once you type that in there, select add channel. It'll give you a warning that this is not a certified channel for Roku. So it could include offensive or inappropriate material and that Roku can block this channel if it finds that it has any illegal content. So I'm going to go ahead and select OK. I've checked out the channel and as far as I can tell, it just shows you Twitch. So I'm going to select OK. And then as you can see, it's going to show us the icon for the channel and ask us if we want to add it. So I'm going to select Yes and Add Channel. All right, so now that we've done that on our browser, we can go to our Roku TV and access the channel. All right, so now that we've installed the Twitch Reloaded channel on our Roku account, we can go to our Roku TV and we should see it in the list of channels. So it should look like this. If you don't see it, simply go in the left sidebar down to Settings, then in Settings, go down to System, and then in System, go to System Update, and then go to the right and go to Check Now. This will have it check for the channel and install it if it hasn't already. But now all we need to do is simply open up the channel. And then as you can see, it allows us to go through and look at some of the most popular streams on Twitch. We can also go up to the top bar. We can look at different categories. So different games, just chatting, things like that. We can go through all live channels. And you can also search either for streamers, so specific channels, or by category, which is pretty cool. And then the last option we have is something they call log in. So if you select that, it's going to ask you to enter a username. Now you actually do not enter your password at all. So let me go ahead and put gauging gadgets in here. So if I put in my username and select log in, what it's going to do is you don't actually log in. It just pulls in all the channels you follow so that you can quickly access them in the left sidebar. So it's a really cool way. You can put any username you want in there and it pulls the public information, which is just the channels they follow into there so you can quickly access all of the channels you follow. Now real quick, there are some limitations in this app. You are unable to interact with the chat at all, but I think that's okay because really the most important thing if you're gonna be doing this on a Roku TV is simply being able to watch your favorite channels. Now go ahead and load one of my channels and really the only thing you can do is pause and play. You also have the option of rewinding and then fast forwarding as well. So I think that's pretty cool. And you just use your Roku remote to do that. All right, so that's how you watch Twitch on your Roku TV. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Roku or Twitch tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. And please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.